Now, the financial world is continuously evolving at pace. Now, with nearly instantaneous digital services aligned to changing customer expectations, driven by data and innovation. We're joined by James Wald. He's the Managing Director, Head of Banks, Sovereigns, Supernationals, and Agencies at NatWest to take a look at how they're delivering and helping lead the charge. Hi, uh, James, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you for having me today. So we've been talking about this theme all week, yeah. collaborative finance in a fragmented world. Collaboration is very important to NatWest, yeah. obviously. Uh, so how are you seeing the theme across the conference this year? Well, for me, I mean, this whole conference is all about collaboration. I've had fantastic meetings right the way through this week, both on the stand, off-site, whether it be parties or whether it be elsewhere. We've had a great chance to socialise, to network, have formal meetings, informal meetings. And really, for me, that's the heart of this conference. Uh, what's clear to me is no bank can do everything it needs to do with its clients on its own, so it inherently needs to collaborate, and that's what this conference is all about. Mm -hmm. I wish we were invited to some of these parties. I know. Yes. I keep hearing yes. about them. Hearing. Networking <laughs> events. Networking <laughs> events, as they Networking. say. Hopefully we'll get to some of those later on today. Uh, now, James, NatWest is a, a fairly newly formed financial institutions franchise yes. uh, in which you are the MD, head of banks and SSAs. Yes. What more does this new franchise enable you to deliver to your customers and to your partners? Well, it draws effectively three different different pillars of the financial institutions business into one place. Uh, the banks business that I run, the non-bank financial institutions and the funds franchise. It makes this a much easier bank to deal with. Uh, we draw together all the various different product strands, the buy side, the sell side of the relationships and the overall financial ecosystem that all of those three pillars connect together on mm. really just makes it much easier both to serve our clients uh, and also to serve our customers' customers in being organized under one very very coherent pillar. And NatWest uh, talks a lot about its passion for innovation. Yes. Can you talk a little bit more about that and how it benefits customers uh, in the UK and global mm. communities as a whole? Yeah, it's, it's a really good question. I think innovation for me isn't just about innovation for the sake of innovating. There's got to be a purpose behind it. Um, and for NatWest particularly, being the largest commercial bank in the UK uh, with a very, very strong retail client base really enables to, to see that innovation bubble up at the retail level. So for consumers particularly, customers of our customers in particular, our ability to be able to innovate at that level has really drawn a lot of links and a lot of potential uh, within our corporate and our FI client base. Uh, we were the first bank, as an example, in the UK to launch a faster payments API. Uh, we have also been the first major of the four UK majors uh, to launch banking as a service as part of our NatWest boxed environment. Um, and innovation for me isn't just actually about financing, it's also about our commitment commitment to purpose, uh, our ESG agenda and our climate agenda. Um, and we've committed to lending 100 billion by 2025 towards climate and sustainable initiatives. No small amount. Uh, mm. Now, being a predominantly ba a UK based bank, yes. uh, given the global nature of Cybos, has there been anything that surprised you at all? And no, funny enough, not so much surprised me actually, it's reinforced my view actually that while we are predominantly a UK bank, we need to ensure that we have a very strong global outlook, uh, both in terms of our clients trading outside of the UK into global markets, but also into the UK as well. So I go back to that point around collaboration and our need to ensure that both our own global footprint is important, but also that we're reaching other areas where our customers need to reach mm -hmm. through our partnerships with many of the banks and suppliers that we've been talking to during the course of this week. Mm, there's so much global economic uncertainty right yeah. now. So what should businesses be doing to future proof their success? It's a really good point, and I, I think for me, the, the first thing is to focus on the basics. Just get that right, ensure that you're focused on your core strategy. Uh, you use data, actually that, that's a big part of, uh, of what we're doing at NatWest, is using data to inform our decisioning rather than gut instinct uh, or prior events that informs our future. Um, we're also experimenting, that's a key part of it. We talked about innovation earlier, and experimentation, trying new things, particularly actually when times are challenging, 
Um, rather than play it safe, ensure that you're pushing the boundaries and driving innovation. That's the way in which the best businesses will survive in any particular environment, particularly during a downturn. Well, James, it's been great to have you here on Cybus TV. Oh, it's nice to hear a familiar accent. Um, oh. <laughs> back almost out here in Toronto. And I hope you've enjoyed Toronto as I've much loved it. as I have. Uh, that's James Ward, Managing Director, Head of Bank Sovereigns, Supranationals and Agencies at NatWest. Thank you.